Hi, I'm Travis and I'm an engineer on the academic team at National Instruments. Today I want to show you a new way to talk about operational amplifier configurations to engineering students. Operational amplifiers and circuits can aid to teach things like nodal analysis and filter design. But students, however, don't fully grasp the practical reasons for using op amps and circuits. They understand the theory behind an op amp configuration, but they sometimes miss the benefits of using them in their circuit. So today, I want to show you a passive low pass filter circuit and its op amp configuration and draw some comparisons. Let's take a look. So here I have my measurement system. In this case, it's a MIDAC. And on my MIDAC, I have a low pass filter circuit with a resistor and a capacitor. And I'm sending in a signal from my analog output. Now, if I were to read from that signal and try to create a Bode plot, I'm going to go ahead and place a line here and read at the capacitor the low pass system. I'm going to go ahead and run. We see that the system that we get is a characteristic low pass filter output. But if we add a load to the circuit, I'm going to go ahead and add a resistor here. And run that same analysis. We see that we get a similar plot, but instead of starting off at 0 dB, we're starting off at negative 10 dB. Now this is because when we add the load, it changes the current draw on the overall circuit. And this is considered loading. Now to change that, or to stop the effect of loading, we can instead run our signal from the output of the low pass filter to the input of a voltage follower configuration for an op amp. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Plug that into my input. And I'm going to use the same resistor that I used as a load from the previous circuit. And now I just need to monitor the output of my voltage follower and run that plot again. We see that our output signal matches very closely to what we had before with just the circuit without a load because of the large input impedance of our op amp and the small output impedance. This will allow for us to send any signal to its input and have an output that can change without changing the characteristics of our circuit. So we've analyzed a single low pass filter circuit using a function generator and an oscilloscope to show the benefits of using op amps in your circuit designs. Today I use a MIDAC and the NI Elvis instrument launcher as my analysis tools and I pulled circuits from labs developed at the University of Michigan. By using this approach, students can understand the value of op amps in constructing active circuits from a theoretical as well as a practical perspective. To explore this approach further, go ahead and download the free course we're linked on this page. Thank you.